Hi, welcome to a Miracom Minute. Today we're going to be looking at our MIX 4090, our programming utility tool. I'm going to just take it out of the box. So here we have the programming tool. On the back here is where we insert or place our Mircom MGC type devices. Now on the side you'll notice a beveled edge. Now this is going to be lined up when we actually connect the detector head and snap it into place. After which we can hit the green check mark button to be able to turn on the system. When we've turned on the system we'll have a display of what our battery life is. After which it will display what address we'd like to select. We can use the up or down cursors to select any address type we choose. For example, I'm going to set this particular device to address 1. Once I decide that I'm going to select address 1, I need to hit the green check mark button. This will store the device address within the actual device. After which, and it gives me the message that device address has been stored, I can then disconnect the detector. So if we wanted to program one of our other modules, rather than the mini mod, here I have a MIX 4060. So I'm going to need the programming cable again. Again, we're plugging the aux cord into the top portion, and then the terminal block into the actual module itself. Once the termination has been made, I can turn on my device. Now, considering this has been read out of the box, should read a no address. I'll place the up or down cursors to select the desired address. For this particular module, I'm going to select address 3. Hitting the green check mark, we'll store the address into the module. Now I can disconnect. And my module has been programmed. Using our programming tool, if we have a sensor or other module connected in, we can go through some options. To get to the options screen, we have to hold down the read button for five seconds. Once I've held down the read button for five seconds, it'll display my device type. Right now I have the MIX4010 connected to it. By pressing the up arrow cursor, I can see the battery life remaining in my programming module. Up again, customer aspect. This is not a option that would be used from our technicians. If I select up again, I can go into the test date. This particular device was tested in 2019. Select up again, I can go into the production date. Production date is also 2019. One more time, I can see my firmware version, which happens to be 1.02. Pressing up again, it'll tell me the dirty rate of the actual sensor. This would obviously be for our smoke sensors. Right now, this particular device is at a 8% dirty obscuration rate. By pressing up again, I can go into my standard value. Okay. Standard value should be reporting a value of about 32. If we have a value of 0 or 192, which is technically the alarm threshold, there should be or could be something wrong with the actual device head. If I press up again, I get into operations mode. Now, operations mode should only be used with the direct supervision of technical support staff or someone from our applications group. So I'm going to just move along from that. Press up again, we see the series type, which happens to be Mircom. And then again, we get back to our device type, which happens to be the MIX4010. And with that being the last option, that is how you'd use our programming tool. Miracom, always learning.